Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Kelly. Hope y'all are having a great day. Wanted to talk about a few things um, and show how I wax my pages. Um, this has been discussed over and over again. I have some. I have several, several videos on waxing pages. Um, a few things you might want to know ahead of time before I get into uh, everything, but. You want to make sure that when you wax your pages, you or you you have either sprayed a fixative on it. Some people use um, aerosol hairspray. You can get it at the dollar store. You want if you use uh, water soluble anything um, to make sure it's fixed. You know, fixed on there with fixative. Uh, this I believe is all acrylic paint, so that's why I'm going to do it on this page. Um, I have somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping to come across it when I go through my one thing. A big, humongous, I mean, it's like this big, solid of beeswax that you can wax your pages with. It's um, got a little bit of a yellowish tint to it. Uh, so when you wax your pages, it kind of gives it a nice kind of like antiqued look. Um, I like that for certain pages. For other pages, I don't like it. I am using, and this is very inexpensive. I've done this a million times. You can get this at uh, Michael's or AC Moore. It is beeswax sheets. And I cut some of mine off. And um, But I wanted to save this so you guys could see. It's just a beeswax sheet. I have this in pinks, in a light pink, in um, clear, it might have a yellow. I have them. I bought them in several different colors because essentially what this is for is to make um, candles, <laughs> but you don't have to use it for that. And it's inexpensive, a couple bucks, and you get like a long stick, like that long, and um, really, really inexpensive and fun, and you'll get a lot of use out of it. Now, before I start, you can use many things to do this. You can use which I have this, one of those little irons. I have a, I have two heads for this. I have this one and you can see how big that is and it plugs in and I have a bigger head um, on that. And what I love to use is this little iron from Tulip. And it's where all the Tulip has, I love to create all the uh, gems and iron ones and all that kind of thing. And I got that there. Um, there is no on and off button on here. You kind of plug it in and you're kind of on your way. Um, I like it. Um, bleh. so I'm not going to use, well, maybe I'll use this one. Let's see. Let's see. Shall we? Gotta find my. I don't know if I can use it now or not. Because I would have to find my concrete plate. That might be a different video. But these are. This is great because what you do is you put your wax on it and then you will iron it on. Let me see. All right, Nico, watch out, babe, please. And then I'm gonna show you if you have neither one and don't want to use your regular iron. What you can do, plug it in, plug it in. Okay, so that's gonna heat up quick. So, that you saw my big butt on the camera probably. Okay, so I have this heating up. There's already wax on it. Don't want that. And I'm gonna just set it up like this. Out of the way for now. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take my wax sheet. And I'm going to first show you if you don't have any of these tools, the iron or um, anything like that, but you have a hair dryer or a heat gun. I'm going to show this to you one more time so you can see that's all you need is a beeswax sheet or a wax sheet. It doesn't even have to be beeswax. Um, but uh, this is white. Like I said, I have pink. I have to find my supply. Um, and then this is well smushed right now, but it unrolls. Um, this one's kind of smushed, but you can kind of see like inside there, it just unrolls like a nice little fun thing. So first what I would have you do is grab a paintbrush. 
go to the dollar store, get a paintbrush that you don't really care. Not, not that you care, but you know, that you won't ever be using for paint again, because once you get the wax on it, doing it this way, um, you know, it's always going to be your wax, your wax brush. Now what I do is I will take a piece of wax. I just set it on my page and I'm going to hit it with the heat and there's little pieces that are going to go everywhere, but I'm going to hit this with the heat. You can also use your melting pot for this too and melt the wax in it and then brush from there. Now you see it melting. It's melting. It's melting. Okay, and you can see it melted. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just slather it on and paint it on. And I'm just going to do this side because the other side I'm going to use the... Now, it's starting to, as you can see, the white's coming back. It's starting to dry. So I'm going to go over it again and re-wet it. Brush it down. Okay. And you'll see, I'm not getting all the way down here at the bottom. I'm just trying to show you. Because you'll get it in different areas. And go, you know, you want to go in one direction. You see I'm going in two directions. So do as I say, not as I do. But I'll just do my last up and down here. And this is what I'm going to do with this. Okay? And that's going to that's gonna dry. And then I have my... Now, I mean, if you're very thrifty and when you're done doing this and you're like, oh, I'm never going to do this again, and you want your paintbrush back, just heat it up again with your hair dryer or your heat gun. Um and just keep wiping it so all that extra wax gets off. Even when it's dry, you can even peel some of it off. So on this side, so I'm going to set this aside for now. On this side, I'm going to use our little iron, which this is the cutest thing. I use this when I quilt too, um, because sometimes you just plug it in and, um, you know, you're quilting. You want to just get those little seams, you know, to open up and, and all that kind of thing. Instead of pulling out the big one, I we'll pull this out. But this is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to just start melting on here and watch it drip. And have it drip up here. It doesn't matter if it cools off and hardens because we're going to go over it. I went through a period of all I did was waxed everything. I waxed my paintings. I waxed my um, art journal pages. I waxed everything. And I loved it. Every second of it. This might even get me back into it. Who knows? So I'm just kind of dripping all around. So when I go to use the iron on the wax, it will even it out. So... I'm going to set my wax aside. I'm going to take my little iron and I'm going to iron. And you just, you know, you can slowly do it if you want to melt it a little slower. Now I'm going to tell you the trick. Maybe it needed a little to heat up a little bit more. I have no patience, so I went right for it. You want to go over everything once. And make sure that all those drips are heated. And you can just hold it on there for a minute. And then move to the next side. And then to the next side. And just kind of do like this. So you're melting all the drops that you put on. And then just iron it like you're ironing 
a sheet. Move up a little bit more. And then you can use the corner to get in there if you want it, you know. And I'm just ironing. Get his little feet. Go around the corners. Okay. I got a little bit over there, so. I'm going to leave that harden for a second. And you'll see it start to harden and come back. Now, can you see on this side now, we have no more of that white. And you can see how it's, you know, when you first put it on and you brush it on, what you're going to notice is when it hardens the, for the first time, like you can see here, let's lift this up. You can see in that green, you can see the wax on there very good. This, that's our first run of it. Now I'm going to go over it again like I'm ironing. I'll probably have to go over this part right here because okay. and you'll get this extra wax. Just stick it on, you know, like some of the wax will come off if it's in bigger pieces and, you know, it, the paper can't take anymore. The paper saying I can't take anymore. So I know those green spots need it. Now I'm showing you two different ways on two different size, sides of the uh, journal page. However, if you're going to do this, pick away and do it. Like if you're going to use your heat gun, do it that way, the full page. If you're going to use your little iron or your iron at home. Because what's happening is because I'm not doing it the same way, you can tell in the crease, like some of it's coming over this way and it's getting, you know what I mean? You kind of want to have like continued the same way. So it's not going to ruin, you know, like mine's going to ruin the side. All right. I'm just going to, and see, I can even go back over this if I want. All right. So I got that. I got a piece here. I need to kind of melt. Now I'm going to tell you in all of what I do and all the waxing I've done and I have a lot, I should pull out some of the stuff and you can see how glossy and when this dries, you know, you'll be able to, uh, it'll harden and you can peel that off. That's not a problem. What's going to be the problem is me not burning myself while I'm trying to do this. Now this brush is hard because of the wax, no big deal. So I'm going to give this a second to sit. And now you've seen how to, I'm going to unplug this iron because I know I'm going to just, just, uh, and what I love with this is that you get the longest cord with this iron. If my toe would only work correctly, I would be in business. <laughs> Can you hear me? It's all right. The wax needs to dry. Somebody just be good to me, please. Come here, little friends. Come here. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. So then I'm just going to set this. See, it's already like pouring down. I'm using my craft mat. Use wax paper. You know what I mean? Something that you can catch all the drips and everything and then add it to your wax stash. Okay. So now... I can still see here we need a little bit more, um, a little bit more going on there. So what I'm going to do is go back to my favorite way and I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun. That's why I said. You really don't need anything but the wax for a couple bucks and you will be so happy. And I'm just going to hit all of this one more time. To make sure we don't have no lumps, especially where the pages are. I'm excited for the next part. I know I get so silly over little things, but I'm so excited. Okay. 
So now you can see it's nice and glycerin and very, very cool, but it will, um, can you see here where my, what it's, what's happening? Everything is running down onto my, um, nonstick sheet. Now you can get a nonstick sheet at the dollar store, sometimes sell them or uh, bed, bath and beyond or wherever, you know, just a nonstick sheet or use your, um, wax paper or, uh, you know, if you have like something down that you use, I have tiles. We have extra tiles left over, ceramic tiles from us doing our um, bathroom. So um, I have a few of those around. The one that's sitting over here is full of crap that it will take me an hour to get. And the other ones are over there with my clay because I usually use them with my clay because I can bake them and, you know, they're all that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, you can definitely, you know, set that down to set your iron on if you're using an iron. Um, all this wax, like I said, is just, it's just dripping down like delicious goodness. And it'll just go back with the rest of the wax. So when we go to wax something again, we got it made. Okay, so this is drying. Now you want to take a, I'm going to use a paper towel because I did not grab a rag. But you want like an old paper, this will work fine, paper towel. But you want like if you have an old towel, I have old paint towels here I use for paint and all that kind of stuff. All right, this is almost cool. I can feel it over here. And I want you to I want to show it to you up close here. Why is my camera like up in hell there? Let's let's move it down, shall we, so you can see better. Can you see it a bit better? There. Yeah, why did I have my camera? I must have I don't know what I did. Anyway. So okay, so we have the wax on here. It's still a little warm. I don't wanna now. You know, obviously, if you're doing, if you're going to wax things in your journal, oh my God, I lost my paper towel. <laughs> it was such a hot mess today. It has been quite the horrible day today. My patience is thin, 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 thin. Um, obviously, if you are doing this in your journal, protect the pages that are behind it or, do you know what I mean? So it doesn't run. None of my wax ran, but... You know, that doesn't mean that it won't next time. You might be seeing me wax a whole mess of stuff because I just love it so much. I love doing it on my paintings and um, all that kind of stuff. So just waiting for it to kind of just say it's a little. Um, you want it to be cool because and not warm because if it's still warm, it's going to when you go to buff, it's going to take it off. But you can see like how shiny it is now. It almost looks like it has a uh, lacquer on it or some sort of glossiness on it. But the cool thing is when you buff it, so you see, okay, now you can see the, the wax lines and all that, and that's okay. It's not a big deal. I'll start over here though, and I'm going to just lightly start to buff it. And I'm going to buff half of him. So you can see the difference. And I'm just buffing away. I'm going to buff the outside. And I hope the camera will, will be able to show. And the wax is not coming off because we did a double wax. Double wax whammy. Can you see? It is like extra shiny now. If I turn it. Let's see if I can turn it this way. It's so hard to get on camera, like, so you can really see. But you're just giving it a nice buff. We are rubbing and buffing. And I'm just going to buff all of them. It almost looks like you put an oil on them. That's the kind of deliciousness. I mean, can you see it? It's just, it's delicious. And then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. And buff. Now, I'll buff a little, a little bit more and then I'll talk about a few more little things. And then, sure I got his legs. Okay. So I'm 
paper towel over here. Now we are done. We waxed our page. It is completely waxed. What you're going to want to do, and I'm going to show you like up close here, those white marks on him are paint. They are not wax. That's just the way I painted them. But can you see how like shiny it is now? It's not that page that was, you know, like a normal, like that. Like that would have been a good one to um, wax too. Maybe I'll wax that one too. That's a good one. Huh. We'll see. Okay. But can you see? Now, the only thing I'm going to tell you is it could become sticky when you close it. So put some protective wax paper in there, parchment paper, something that won't um, stick. And it's, it's just delicious. It looks, I, I can't explain how delicious. And so much fun. So that is waxing. Now let me get to this one. You can see how... It's very, there's nothing glossy about this page. It's very, you know, very unglossy. It's just a regular flat paint page. So let's get our heat gun. Let's get our wax. And let's drip some wax and get it started. I'm just let it like that, let some drip off. And I'm going to just use the brush method with this one. Get some wax over here. And of course, you can pull it off. You don't have to do as I'm doing and just letting it drip. You can just kind of move it around. Use your paintbrush if you want. So it goes around. Because our paintbrush is now going to be re-reactive. Now, something I can do is pick up these little pieces that fell off the iron and just add them on here. Because we're just going to reuse them in my thing is kind of cooled down. Still a little warm, but ouch, that one hurt. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I will leave this here. And I'm going to put that on my and what I'm going to do is get my hands a little white there because they're a little sticky from the wax. That's my dog crying. He wants out of the room. He wants in, he gets in, he wants out, he wants out. So let's watch this one. Become a cool wax piece. And I'm going to heat up my brush just a little bit just to get that going. I'm going to heat up these wax pieces. You can see my brush is becoming pliable again. You can grate the wax on. You can chop it up in little pieces. My big block, I just chop it. So I'm just kind of getting these all melted. Now I'll take my paintbrush and I'm going to paint it on. Now this right here has some texture, so. Now see that, I must have had something on there that came, that wasn't permanent. Because can you see what it's doing to my bed? But I'm just going to move on. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that. Because I did this page a while ago. We shall see if we can fix it. But I'm just going to do that. I'm going to cut some more of my wax off. I'll just take my little scissors and just cut and cut and cut. 
and cut and lay it and lay it. I know I don't have much on the edges and do like this. And you can see the wax that I've already done reheating. So you can redistribute it wherever you need it. The piece just flew off onto my non-stick surface, which is why I have a marking on and that one did too. No freedom. So I'm gonna work while this is hot, get my brush going. And go over and just do the wax. And you can see once <clears throat> you're doing this and brushing it, where you hit and where you miss. Because right now this coat is giving us our base wax, which is important to have. I get all the bed and the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> Do her face. Okay. So now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun all over. I can see a couple of my bristles came out on it, but you're getting the point of what we're doing. And now I'm going to leave it sit. Now my brush will get hard again with the wax. Not going to worry about it because I'm kind of done with that. You could see some of the bristles of my um, thing in here. If I was making, you know, if I was sitting here, I would, uh, it's still hot. I would, um, I'd pick it out. I don't know how hot that part still is. Oh, my phone's going off. I don't know. I'm full of wax. I cannot come to the phone right now. That and my dog's crying because Dave must be making something to eat. And my dog's like, wait a minute. I want something to eat too. Okay. So you can see how it's coming up white. You see as it's drying, and we want that. We don't want necessarily this um, bristle from the brush to be there. But it's okay. So we're just going to give it a second. How you doing? <laughs> I'm just, just being silly. But yeah, so this is really fun. I love I love the waxing. And I think you'll get a better see, like you'll see it better on this one due to the fact of um, uh, it being, you, you saw it so matte and, and, you know, the wax. But we're just giving it a, a few seconds to continue to cool down so we can get these, it soaks in and then we can get these white parts to then become non-white and then we will... Um, we will then uh, give it our scrub-a-dub-dub -dub rub and buff, and we will be good to go. Again, you can use your heat your heat gun. You can use your hair dryer on its hottest setting. You're just waxing. You know, I happen to have a heat gun sitting here, um, so that's what I'm using. I showed you how you can use your iron um, and. You know, I don't know if many of you have these. I know a lot when waxing came out and it was a big deal. I know a lot of us bought this. I have this because of my, like I said, my quilting. But, uh, you know, I use it for wax, th that part on there for waxing and then my bigger part for when I quilt. So, all right. So I'm going to go over it again. I'm not going to use my brush. I'm just going to heat these areas again. Start up here and just go back and forth. 
You want it to re-liquefy. It's all right. It'll blow it around a little bit. It's okay. Now, like I said, you don't want to use it. I guess I had something in here that um, wasn't fully permanent. It was probably water-based. So it kind of ran a little bit. I'm not worrying. I'm just going and reheating everything. And if you want to add more wax, you can. Then you just do the same process again. You you know, you let it cool and then you go in and do it, do this to it again. So it gets to that glossy stage again. And this is just my art journal. Like I said, you can do this on your canvases, you know, in your mixed media book. You know, we all have our mixed media drawing books and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going and kind of finishing it out. And then I'm going to turn this off. Let this cool. And then I'll buff it and then you shall see it. You can even see like up here where it's glossy. So let's see. Now, let's say I'm sitting here and it starts to come back uh, a little white still. No harm. What that means is that it's sitting, on, it's sitting in a position where it's puddling there. Okay. And um, not, a, not a big deal. We'll just hit it again. We will buff it. It'll be fine. But because I am working in an art journal that has a lot of, you know, bulk in it from gluing and doing and all that kind of stuff, you can definitely see here, we're definitely puddling here. Um, it's just, it could be something from that page. It could be whatever. So what I'm going to do is... Um, Pull that down a little bit. I will probably heat these up again and then move it. Move it so it goes one way or the other, the wax, just very quickly. Reheat it. Reheat it here. I can see it's kind of puddling. Something with this page and behind it. And you just want to kind of get it to a place where it, you might not have as much wax. That's all. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. You just want it to disperse better. No, I laid my page down. I should have kept it rolling. And you can see there's a drip. And I'll roll it down and I'll hit it because I got too much left. And I'll just kind of go like that and then leave it alone. And we shall leave it sit there for a moment and cool off. But I will show you. You can see right here as it's drying, it's getting a little bit white. That's because I have too much wax on it. Too much wax. What you'll do, I'm not going to keep you here for an hour, but what you'll do is you'll hit this again and you will redistribute that wax to a place. Normally in the corners, we don't get it as well as we need to. And if you need to, get your brush back out. You want it to be, you know. Let's see what happens there. That's my dogs going crazy. Somebody must be at the door. I'm so sorry. My dogs are going crazy. very sorry oh my now you can see here in the crease it's puddling in there like I said you can see let's do it this way I have a lot going on in my journal so you know just giving you the basics you sit and play you'll know though you know we want it to we want it to fully dry this is not near fully dry but you want it to fully dry before we buff it this close and I pick all the wax off that I can get off of my um, work area which you're better off to wait until you're fully done and it's fully dry because uh, 
it'll just aggravate you. But I like, I'm like a picker. I don't know if you guys do that. Like, do you guys pick like paint, like if, or nail polish off you, or like if you get paint down, like I'll sit here, like I got to redo my tape on the bottom here. Cause I sit and pick at it and like paint that dries. And I don't know. All right. That's still hot up here, but this is cool down here. So let's turn it this way. And yeah, that's still, still too much. It looks like still too warm. And if you go about doing it like that and it messes up, just take your heat gun, run it. It'll rewet it. Now, what I'll talk about though, which is really fun, is if we're doing this, you're doing this and you want to add some stuff in your wax. Like, I don't have anything here, of course I would. Why would I? But uh, if you want to add something in your wax, like I have this butterfly sitting here, um, I could just add it in and it would stick like glue because as the wax hardens around it, it would become, you could put your little, um, what are they called? Uh, crap, what are they called? Like little rhinestones, you know, rhinestones. I couldn't think of the name rhinestones. Yeah, you can put your little rhinestones in here, little pieces and threads and whatever you want. Let's see that right there. All right, so that'll be the last time. I'm going to just let it cool. And then I shall rub and buff. But it looks really, really cool. It changes the whole look of the... Um, the girl, her hair, the bed, the outside of the pages. It's really, it's really changed the whole journal page. So we're just waiting for it to dry. It's like waiting for paint to dry. But yeah, it is, it is really, really cool. And so much fun to do. So much fun. And like I said, the wax is nothing to buy. Um, and just buy yourself one so you can sit and play. And like I said, you, you know, I've done two pages and I still have a big thing left of it. And I didn't, that wasn't even the whole stick. That was just a piece of the stick of the wax. And you can t unwind it and use it that way and cut it up with your scissors. You can do whatever you want. But see how cool. And then you got like with this, you know, you just pull off the extra wax and if you're going to use this for your fabric or anything to iron out or iron ons or anything like that make sure when you turn this on let it heat up and then wipe it on a towel that you don't care about uh, to get all this extra wax and everything off of it so it doesn't transfer to whatever you're using because as we know sometimes my brain doesn't work all the way and I've done that quite a few times myself You know, you're in a hurry, you forget that, well, oh, you know, the last thing I did was, all right, it's hot over on this side, this side is not, I'm going to give it a few more seconds. I wish they had a, uh, like, instead of a heat gun, they also had, like, a cold gun. And that's why, like, it would be great to have your hair, use your hair dryer, because my hair dryer has one of them cool buttons that you hit, you know, you're blowing your hair dryer, and then you hit the cool button, and it sets in, like, when you have naturally curly hair or whatever you're doing with your hair, straightening or whatever, it sets that in. And it is so much fun. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I wish they had, like, one of them cold guns. You know, I'd have to... I always keep saying, I'm going to pick up a hair dryer from the thrift store. But then every time I go and then I look at the hair dryers, they make me gag. And I don't know why. <laughs> I just, I'm like, eh. I just want a little hair dryer. All right, this page feels pretty pretty good. Now, like I said, you want to use a towel more than a paper towel because the paper towel is going to be rougher. You want a piece of cotton is what you want. I don't know if I have. Let's see what this is. Make sure there's no pins in here because let's see, this should do better. Yep. Pin right in my, I figured. A new, a new, a new, a new. I'll just use this. Leave that pin in there. Apparently I have something pinned in here. And where the hell is the pin? Oh, there's that pin hiding. Oh, that hurt. Okay. 
Now I have a piece of cotton, so let's see. Much better, because it doesn't have the texture of the towel. And now we're gonna, I might get some blood on here, I'm sorry. <laughs> and now I'm gonna buff. And it just brings up this shine that's just so cool. Wait a second, Nico. Get her face. My hands are having a hard time grabbing today, so <sighs> holding things is not the easiest thing to do. Please, Nico, give mommy a minute. And you just buff like you're buffing. Like rub and buff type thing. Like I said, it could, could have cooled off a little bit more because. Oh my gosh, it's cotton string. Driving me nuts. Not big enough piece, and my finger hurts now. I'm just gonna buff it with paper towel. <laughs> just easier for me. And we'll get done a lot faster. Okay. And you would make sure you really give it a good buffing everywhere on the page. Can you see how it gave it the shine where before it didn't have the shine? And we've now waxed our page. Now, you can wait a little bit longer. I probably would wait a little bit longer uh, than I did to go ahead and buff it because the wax is going to go into the paper. And, um, you know, it needs, it, it. even though it feels cool to the touch, you want to kind of give it a good 10 minutes, a good 10 minutes. And you'll notice the, the longer you let it cool, the much easier it is to buff. It'll just come right up. But you can see it has a whole other look to it now. <clears throat> and this little stuff in here is just glitter that I used in here at the time when I did it. So it has nothing to do with the wax. It's the glitter from the bed that I added. So that is how I wax my stuff. And like I said, I love doing it. I haven't done it in a while, but I used to do it on everything, on all the paintings I sold in my art journal. I've done it on my YouTube. I've done it on videos, uh, live shows. I've done it. I've done it everywhere because I've been. I was obsessed with waxing the page or a canvas or a part. And like I said, then embedding things in the wax while it's still warm is awesome. And there you go. So can you see that shine? Now I've got a nice shine to it. And it is fun and it still closes. It's just full of stuff. So that is how you wax. That is some tips on how to wax. Um, it's so much fun. And really, like I said, if I had a little bit more time, uh, you know, I would have let this cool a little bit more because it just buffs up so nice. 
but you really want to make sure it's cool. Like even now, it's still, you could tell that it's much cooler than it was when I first started buffing. And there you go. And that is how you buff. We waxed and buffed. And can you see how glossy it is? And it's just, it's really cool. And like I said, the, the, how it makes the colors come out. And that is it. That is my waxed page. And you feel it and it feels so nice and soft and waxy. And like I said, put your piece of parchment paper or whatever in between. So when you shut it, you know, you don't have any issues of it sticking or anything like that. If it gets warm or whatever. Um, let's see how other pages holding up. This is our other page. Like you can see in that yellow how nice it comes out, how glossy. So those are our two waxed pages and I'm very thrilled with them. Very, very thrilled with them. And it just gives a, a lovely look. And here's our other one. So, as always, any questions, ask me below. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up in the group. Hit me up on YouTube. Uh, I will answer your questions. And um, look at the, look at the, how nice and shiny this. So much, so fun. Um, and if you want to join our group, All Things Creative, all you have to do is Hit me up and email me on Facebook. I'll put my Facebook link below and I will add you to the group gladly. And that's about it. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you learned something and um, I'll talk to you again soon. Be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And don't don't box yourself in with art and, and doing the prompts and all the art and everything. Have fun. Don't be so hard on you guys and yourselves when you're doing it. It's to be fun. And um, like I said, we have like this awesome group that just everybody is just so supportive. And when I see others helping, you know, some people helping others and that kind of thing, I just love it. And, and giving people like these wonderful words of, you know, encouragement and how much they like their art and everything. It's just so wonderful. So, so I hope you guys learned something here and I will put the links below. I will see you in the next video. I have a few new videos coming up. One is going to be a video where um, it's going to be a tactile piece with no paint, no nothing, um, but tactile pieces. I'm very excited about that. Um, I have a lot of things that are going to be coming up, so I'm very excited, um, and I will be doing another giveaway soon, and so stay tuned for that. Make sure you sub if you found me by mistake, um, you know, or saw me on the side and came and you like me, please sub, uh, click my name below and, uh, sub to my channel and get all the latest videos I make as they come out. I try to do at least three to four videos a week. Uh, this past week or so, I've been lagging a little bit, but um, been trying. And uh, that's it. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.